Let's move on to Rock City then, shall we? We've already collected a lot of precursor orbs in here. Hopefully the little lurker shark doesn't come and eat me. He probably won't. I'm, I'm within a safe distance. There we go. So let's go talk to some people within the town and they should tell us all about the problems they have. I think the gladiator wants us to give him like 90 precursor orbs or something, as they usually do. Let's go try and collect some scout flies whilst we're around them. Might as well. They're here. Why not? I think you can destroy these barrels as well. I think these barrels will give you some eco. Yes, they do. Oh my god, how did I know that? Maybe I've played this game before. Alright, let's go and talk to some of the village people then, shall we? You know, the YMCA. Let's go talk to those and see what they have to say. YMCA, and see what they have to say. That rhymed. Ah, oh, no. Not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wager pretty much tapped me out. Sos, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power sell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time where I see Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power sell. Okay, so we need to give him 90 orbs and he will give us a power cell. We also need to beat the time on the racetrack, which uh, is 45 seconds, if I do believe. Fairly easy to do. All right, let's go talk to this guy over here. What is he, a gladiator or something? Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me. After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> all right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Okay, so he wants 90 orbs as well, just as I suspected. But anyway, why would I give him money, which precursor orbs in this game are the currency, why would I give him money to like raise these things back up if he thinks that the monster's gonna come down and like beat the town to shit. You know what I mean? He's gonna die. So what are those 90 orbs gonna do? Oh, 90 orbs, I've got some money. Oh shit, the monster's come back down and killed me. Oh, that's that's some good money there. I don't know what his logic is. In fact, you know, he's, he's, he's sort of portrayed as the big dumb guy, you know? So I guess he doesn't really think too well. Ah, dear. Well, you know what? He does seem kind of smart, you know? I said like, you know, like six times there. He does seem fairly smart. By, you know, trying to, oh my god, stop saying you know. It, like, going up and, like, fighting the guy and thinking of a strategy to try and stop him and that kind of thing. And, like, protecting the village. Can I make this? Oh, of course I can't because I'm absolutely terrible. I think I can make that specific jump there if I keep doing this fast enough and I can get those, um, the power cell, the precursor robs, I should say. I keep messing up power cells and precursor robs. They're very different things. Oh my lord. All right, let's try and do this again, shall we? Fingers crossed it works out. Ugh. All right, I think I'm able to do that. I got a little bit of a head start. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I freaking do this? Of course I can. What a legend. Ah, oh, gotta love that sound. That sound is so good. 420. <gasps> Blaze it. 
Right, let's try and go to the new area, shall we? But before we do that, let's go talk to the explorer slash geologist or whatever the hell she is. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Yes, that is very fair. Um, you know what? Let's do that now. We might as well. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Right, so we now have ourselves an extra power cell. Of course, the camera made me go the wrong way. Of course it did. That was all the camera. It wasn't just me, like, completely failing. Now we're going to go to the Precursor Basin, and of course we are going to ride on this. And this is the Zuma, and unfortunately I press triangle, thinking I'm playing GTA once again. Now this area here, holy balls, can get very annoying. So what we're going to do is herd these little creatures uh, back into their hole. These, are, these creatures are very cute indeed, though. I got two in one there. Oh my god, two for That is fantastic. These things here are wearing, like, nappies, and they are, like, flying around. These things don't spike up, though, so thankfully they can't hurt you, which is great. And we're on a zoomer, so thankfully we can hurt them pretty easily. Got to just get this one last guy. Come on, squirrel, or mole, whatever you are. I think it's a squirrel. It looks like a squirrel to me. Although squirrels don't generally go underground. Although she did say, what, what did she call them? Something moles? And moles tend to go underground? Let's go get our power cell from the geologist. Oh, she is a geologist then. Thank you, Daxter. So now we can go get our power cell from the geologist. But before we do that, we have to do a lot of things here as well. Oh my lord. So we're going to try and like hit all these guys here. But of course, I'm very distracted by the... Oh, for God's sake. I always miss one or two of those. Right, let's get those later on, shall we? Let's try and focus on getting these guys first. Now, I do believe you can actually take a hit on the, um, the little, like, what they call little toxic boxes or something. You can take a hit on those, and they will disappear. So if you want to do that and then go get some health, that's a good idea. However, I would just, like, suggest avoiding them, because that's usually the best strategy. The best strategy for that kind of thing is literally just to not touch them. And that's pretty clever, right? Can I make it up this? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, my lord. I'm so good at this game. That was a huge hop there. You guys have no idea. Now we have two scout flies. Oh my god. There's a lot of scout flies we need to collect. And we need to go back to the original area and get those scout flies as well. Oh my god, see that guy like spaz out? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's try and chase him down. I do believe we actually need to catch two more, including this one. So we need to, ca need to catch this one and then another guy. Hopefully he doesn't like make a really weird turn. And of course, I don't actually hit him. Absolutely brilliant. And you don't even need to jump up there, by the way. You just need to like ride up there. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Come on, hit the guy. Hit him. Come on, he's right there. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord, this is very annoying. Where the hell did he go? I've completely lost the guy. Oh my god. Where is he? Did he turn around? Please don't say he turned around. Can I make this jump though? Oh yes I can, of course I can. Where is he? I've completely lost him. Brilliant. Let's go to the next area then, shall we? Um, there's actually another power cell you can get, which is just over here. And um, yeah, it's like... Um, it, it's kind of hard to get. I, I'll say that for sure. You can do it in one go. And I have never done that. I've seen people do it in one go. But I have never managed it. And I probably never will. It's extremely hard to get in one go. And even the people who have done it in one go have said it's very hard to do. So I trust their judgment and I trust their word on it. Because for one, I know exactly what it's like. Of course, I'm going to try and get these uh, precursor robes whilst we can. Usually I miss at least one there. But thankfully, I didn't. Let's try and collect this power cell. Uh! 
And of course, we get it with no problems. Ah, so good. Right, so now we can go around and do that thing I was talking about. Oh, of course, need to go over here real quick. Of course, we can't miss out on that one. <gasps> the Orberator. That means we have 1,000 total power, um, power orbs. <laughs> Precursor orbs. I think that means we have 1,000. I'm sure that means we have 1,000. That's quite a lot. That means we're like halfway there. Well, over halfway there now to get in all the power... Uh, I keep calling them power cells. My God. Precursor orbs in the entire game. <gasps> That's amazing. Right, this is what I'm talking about here. We're going to collect this green eco and then ride over these uh, little flowers over there. Those little plants. So let's see if we can do it. Like I say, you can do this in one go. However, I will probably not do it in one go because it requires a lot of skill and a lot of luck. And of course... Uh, I usually have neither, so there we go. Let's try and just do it as best we can. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do this in one go. I'm probably going to do it like, you know, kind of close though. I got close. That's all I can really say. I got close. It's never going to be like one go. And I saw a guy do it in one go and he was so happy about it <laughs> because it's it's not easy. It really isn't. And they come back as well, so you need to be very careful about that. They do come back. So you can do this in a few goes. I usually take about five goes with this, so hopefully I can do this in three. Because, uh, or maybe two, maybe two. Can I do it in two? Can I do it in two? I did it in two. Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever done it in two goes. I tried this last night and it took me seven goes. My god. You keep on impressing me. But then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get on with it! You know this thing here? I believe it's meant to fly down, throw a little hole there, and then it flew up and then like reversed itself, because I think that's not the actual way it's intended to go. Like I'm going to show you here. It's going to go down this little hole here like that. I don't think it's intended to fly up it, because that would make it very unfair, because you can't actually fly up it. And look at it, it's wearing a nappy. God's sake, can I hit the- Oh my god! So close, these things are so annoying to catch. Some people catch them really quick, um, not me, I catch them really slowly. Can I make this little jump though? Oh, of course I can't, and it kind of reset me a little bit. Absolutely brilliant. Can I hit it, please? I want to just hit this in the side of the head. Come on, there we go, fantastic. Now, I believe there's only one more of those guys to get, right? Oh, avoid that, Jesus. I think there's actually one more. Where's the other guy? Where did he go? He, like, disappeared, didn't he? Now I have no idea where he is. Um, where is he? There's a scout fly up there. Let's get the scout fly whilst we can. Where the hell did he go? Surely he's meant to be around here. I didn't get him, did I? There's no way I got the guy. That's impossible. You know what? Let's do the little pink rings or purple rings whilst we're here. Uh, these are basically just fly through the rings and you actually get a trophy for this. I don't think you get anything but a trophy. So, you know what? I'm going for 100%. I might as well get the actual 100% by doing everything in the game and get the platinum trophy in the end. So there you go. The blue one, the blue rings I should say, are very, very annoying, and I hate them. I've messed up so many times doing those, and they give me very bad memories. However, I do believe I can do these uh, purple rings fairly easily. The purple rings are like the sort of ones that just show you what you need to do. Like, you know, go through the rings. Fairly simple. Of course, I miss that. If you miss it, like, um, if you miss it, it gives you a timer. Well, you're actually on a timer, but if you miss it, you have to turn around, because, like I say, the zoomer has no reverse, which means... Oh, my God. Um, which means you can't actually turn around and just, like, reverse into it. You have to fully 180 degrees yourself, or depending, and then go all the way back around, and hopefully you'll, like, re uh, go into it. I was going to say reverse into it, but then again, like I just said, you can't reverse. Hopefully you'll go into it, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, the timer doesn't run out as you're trying to turn around, because the zoomer turns quite slowly, of course, I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to do it. Oh. Purple Pain. Oh, nice little pun on Purple Rain there by Prince. That's actually a really good song. I like that song. I used to listen to it all the time when I was a kid. Now, what was I going to do? I think I might have got all those guys. No, I can't have done. I can't have got all those guys. That's impossible. I I'm sure I missed the guy, and now he's never shown up again. Where the hell is he? I know there's another guy, like, around the corner. I'm sure there's a guy, like, around here. Um, let's try and get this guy. If he is around here, that is. He should be. Oh, got to get this uh, precursor orb. There it is. Boom. <gasps> We've got all the precursor orbs in Precursor Basin. That is fantastic. Where's the last guy? Surely he's around here. Oh, there he is. I think he must be the last guy. Did I actually hit that other guy? I, I don't think I did. 
I thought I completely missed him, but he's not shown up again, so maybe I did. This is very hard to do because the cornering is very poor. I think you have to like let go of X to stop accelerating, which uh, I don't usually like to do. I'm not very good at racing games, and as you can tell, this is probably why, because I don't like to slow down. I like to just keep going. You know, you got to go fast. I mean, you listen to my boy Sanic, and you got to go fast, and that's just the, the thing you want to live by. Got to go fast. Can I get him on the corner, do you think? Oh, yes, of course I can, and he was the last guy. Of course he was. That seems like a fairly pointless thing to say, Kira. It's like, good flying, you've killed the lurkers, good job. It's like, yeah, I know, I, I literally just did that and got a power cell. So I'm clearly aware of the rewards I got. Oh, is this the last scout fly? Yes, it is, and we've got power cords as well. Right, the blue ones. Ah. The blue ones are fairly tricky. Let's try it though, shall we? Uh, the blue ones are tricky because they're actually like um, quite far away and they have like a sort of weird thing going on where you have to like do a lot of things. I like have to go around a circle here and you have to jump up and try and land the little jump. It's very tricky to do this. You can like jump over here like this. If you overshoot it, you do go like completely over it and you gotta try again. If you undershoot it, then of course you completely undershoot it and you've, you've, you've basically screwed yourself over and you can't, <laughs> you can't recover from that. There's no recovery. And over here, you can jump that by accident. Even if you don't press any buttons, you can, you can like overshoot that. And that's very annoying. And these ones, like I was saying, they're very far away and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of these ones to get. Can I make this jump, please? There we go. And if you miss one, that are, mainly that are in the sky, you're done. That's it. you got to start again from the very beginning. Now, hopefully, I can do this in one go. This usually takes me quite a while and uh, you have a very limited time. And this one isn't really tilted in the way you're meant to go. It's kind of tilted like, like, oh my god, please, please. There we go. Jesus Christ. I wish you had a timer. The timer would be so helpful here. Where the hell am I going? Where the Jesus am I going? Um, where the fuck am I going? I've completely lost it. I don't know where I'm going now. Um, no. Completely couldn't see where I was going. Oh my god. It didn't even show up on like the screen. I couldn't see where I was going. Right, yeah, I'm gonna have to start again. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'll just teleport to where I was beforehand because honestly, you don't want to watch me do this like six times. Oh, that's so annoying. Look at that. That is such a little gimpy turn there. Jesus Christ, man. Who's gonna know to like make a little like U-turn there and know exactly where to go? Ridiculous. You know, earlier, I think I said that these only give you trophies. Of course, I was completely wrong about that. Of course, they give you power cells. What am I thinking? I got the blues. Yes, I do. After doing that one, of course I do. Although I only had to try it one more time, so I suppose not that bad. But seriously, I hate those things. Right, what was the last thing I needed to do? I think the last thing I needed to do was to uh, do the race. Is that the right? Is that right? Did into the race? Uh, ye return and then beat the record time. Yes, of course. Right. Let's go do the race then. And like I say, I believe the time is 45 seconds. Let's see if I can do it. Hopefully I can. Holy Jesus, that was a high jump. Um, holy Jesus, that was a high jump. Let's try and avoid doing that because I think that might slow us down. Of course, we want to try and collect the blue eco because blue eco will speed us up. However, I am very bad at controlling the zoomer because the zoomer is kind of slippery as is understandable because you are like sort of flying and uh, didn't Kira make this? I'm sure she made the zoomer. Got to do a U-turn here. Oh, brilliant. I think, oh God, I missed that. My God, I'm probably going to make this. I think I have just enough time to make this. I'll probably make it within 42 seconds, I think. Oh my God, will I make it within 42? Will I make it within 42? Uh, oh, 40. Beat the record time. New record. I think that's the fastest anyone has ever done that, ever. All right, let's go return to the geologist and let's go get ourselves our power cell. Thank you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Yeah. 
I have no idea why, but it always does that. It always like cuts you off to the side when you're doing that animation after giving in the mission to the geologist. Not exactly sure why. Interesting. Exactly. Interesting. Right, let's go into the little thing here and let's see what we need to get now. We need to give the 90 orbs to the gambler, to the warrior, that's what he's called, the warrior. And um, free the seven scout flies and uh, get the things from the oracle over there. Which means I only have a few more things to do then. So scout flies, I think it was scout flies. Give the 90 precursor orbs in and then get the get the stuff from the uh, the guy over there, the oracle. Of course, the oracle. Um, is that the same oracle or is it like different oracles throughout the area? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, great moves, kid. I knew that time record would fall. Now here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You brought me the precursor oil. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. It did it again. It like moved the camera again. That is so weird. Why is it doing that? Right, whilst we're over here, we might as well try and collect all these little precursor orbs that are over here. We might as well, you know, because we're here. Oh yes, and oh yes, and oh yes, and oh yes. Oh shit! Missed one. Oh damn it. That's annoying. Right, I'll go over here and we'll get ourselves a scout fly. And I do believe we have two more scout flies to go. Oh shit! No, we've got loads of scout flies to go. Oh my god, please. Come on, lurker shop. Come on, come on. Don't be a dick. Don't come on. Come on. Don't be a dick. God damn. Now, I do believe I know where all the scout flies are. I think, in my head, I know where they are. So, uh, we're in oh, Boggy Swamp. We're not going to go to Boggy Swamp just yet. Uh, we'll come back to that later on. Oh, dear, dear. Um, Boggy Swamp is a pretty disgusting place. Oh, gee, look, look, look. I mean, look, come on, come on, come on, man. Come on. You do kind of have to wait for that guy because sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, he will actually jump kind of on these little things here when you're jumping across like that he will jump in the air and eat you so that's why i'm waiting it's happened before it might not happen again but it's happened before so there you go now you know oh just had to disguise a burp there Ugh, disgusting all right let's go give the oracle the precursor orbs that he desires twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Here is another power cell for your quest. For your sacrifice, I offer you a power cell. Fantastic. So, what do we need to do now? Get the, uh, the scout flies. Is that it? Oh no, scout flies and uh, what's that one? 90 precursor orbs to the gambler. I was just there. I was just there. It didn't give me the prompt. Oh, of course it didn't because it was saving. Oh my gosh. I'm an absolute dingling, aren't I? There we go. That's all the precursor orbs in Rock Village. Fantastic. Now all we've got to do is give the orbs to the gambler over here and we should be good as gold and then we're going to collect those scout flies. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! These drums will help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell, I promise. Kind of disappointed that helping the gambler out doesn't say do a barrel roll. I mean, come on. That's like, that's like the internet's thing. The internet loves to do a barrel roll. Is do a barrel roll still popular? I mean, I still say it, just because it's kind of funny. How the hell do I get up there? Oh yes, of course, we need to go back to the Sage's Hut. Ah yes, we get to the Sage's Hut and we can get up there. Of course we can. How many Scout Flies do I have? Okay, I need to get two more. Not too bad then. Fantastic. And I think they're over here. I do believe. I'm probably wrong. 
Please don't quote me. Never quote when it comes to this game. Oh, can you hear that? Of course, I sniffed to, to like, say, like, audio cues. You know, I always get this feeling, like, when, you, when you're, like, in a game, I always sniff, because I always get, like, a tingling sensation, like, in my head. Like, it's sort of, it's like a weird thing. I don't know what it is. Like, I always say I can smell it, but that's, like, just a joke. But honestly, I get, like, a really weird feeling. Like, if I see something in the game, and I just remember... Like, I might not even remember anything. It might just be like a tiny little bit of information. And I'm like, I remember that something was here. And I'm usually correct. Because I'm actually that good. Right, where the hell is this last scout fly? Um, around here somewhere, right? There it is! Of course it is. Kira! Kira, you dick! You're, you're like... Well, she was right here, right? She was right here. And then there's a scout fly. And now she's over by the little laser thing. The little, like, gravity laser that lifts the thing up. The levitation thing. But Kira was right here not long ago, right? She could have just come back and gone, oh look, shit, there's my scout fly. Collected it herself, the lazy shit. So there we go then, that should be all of them in Rock Village, of course it is. I see. Do you see me? You looking through the telescope? You freaking perv! My god! Alright, let's run ourselves over to the little levitation gun and lift up that boulder with the power cells we've collected. Give them to Kira, of course. And once we give them to Kira, she will levitate the boulder and that means we can access that little monster up there. I say little monster, he's pretty freaking huge. So what we're going to do is give the power cells to her, she's going to lift the boulder, we're going to climb up, and then a boss battle will ensue. Absolutely fantastic.